Help me give a warm welcome, Grace City Church, to Michelle and Mark Huguenot. Come on out, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Good to see you. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love you. Okay, okay, okay. Sit down, sit down. My goodness sake, you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. I told them they'd probably get a stay in ovation, and they're, and they're like, I don't know. I'm like, well, Mark's a pretty good looking guy, and you, and you, you came through well done. So I was kidding, joking around with Mark or Michelle. We've only met three times, and two of those times have been staying in front of hundreds of people. And so I'm not sure if she'll answer my calls anymore, but, I, I, but I'm glad she came uh, this morning. So we wanted you guys just to meet our church family and to know that these are the people. Their time, their talent, their generosity made the gifts that you guys received, small as it was. We know there's a lot more challenges coming, but that small gift was made available because of these people. And uh, Vince and Lori Steinmeck were in first service, got to thank them. And Travis Hoffetter is in Montana right now. Scoping out is a big elk hunt. And we got some other, other folks out of town. But I want to know, are any of the Sanctuaries here this morning? And they're going to try to make it. If you're here, they won't wave, so wave them out. Who's up there? I can't see. Is that a Sanctuary? Is that, is that uh, Casey? Corey? Yeah, well, I got up there. So, so they were the men who made the car available. I want to thank them. Yes. Woo. Good guys. So I, I went into Sanctuary's there, and, and I, I, I called asked for a meeting. I walked in. It was Don, Casey, Corey, Chad, all the big kahunas in one room. And I was like, oh, boy. But maybe I should ask for four cars. I don't know. So, talking to those guys, and, and they're, they're busy guys. They were earnest. They're good businessmen. They had good reputations in town, and, and, and they, have, they, have, they provide a service that's allowed them to do good to the community and themselves, and they have resources to help. And so I talked with them. They were earnest. They started working out how we can make this work, and they searched high and low, and they made the gift of the car happen. They were in from the start. And so Grace City Church, uh, 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 Corey, wants to say thank you to the Sankster family for their generosity. So thank you, guys. Yeah, very much. Yeah. Yeah. Go GMC, right? B- 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 buy a GMC from course. So, so uh, you're welcome. Take me out to lunch later this week. You're welcome. So uh, I wanted uh, to ask you, Michelle, just real quick before we let people go. Um, how did your friend Carrie deceive and lie to you <laughs> to get you there? Because you came having no clue what was happening, right? None. None. So, so None. how did that come about? Mark was in the hospital, and um, my friend said, let me get you away for, I'll take you out for dinner, which was not uncommon. We normally got together a lot before this happened. And then she said when we were at dinner that she wanted me to meet this potential new boyfriend of hers who turned out to be him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It gets better. It gets better. <laughs> and so we got there, and the first thing I noticed is he had a ring on his hand. And he was, he was younger than my friend's children. So. <laughs> okay, so be honest. When you saw me, though, were, were you like, meh? Eh? What would you think? I was actually pretty disappointed with my friend. <laughs> because you actually... <laughs> Dagger, Michelle, dagger. Oh. You were married. Okay, I was you married. You're right. Okay, that's good. You're, you're a good person. So tell us what she did before she got to the park. Before she got to the park, um, we hung out at at Famous Footwear, and I didn't understand why, and she just kept buying shoes and shoes and shoes, over $200 worth of shoes, which she took back a bunch of them, but... We were texting her saying, not yet, don't come yet, not yet. She's like, okay, how about that pair? She bought like $200 worth of shoes she took back later, so so you finally show up. You've never met I've never met you. Chris is like, he's pointing at you. I'm like, okay, that's the one. So I say, come on up, and you're like, why do you want to come up? I said I didn't raise my hand. You said, and I said, I don't care. Yeah. So, but if you watch the video, when I say, I say, Michelle, you've been dropping her false pretenses, she looks at Carrie and she's like, so watch the video now knowing she thinks she's walking up on stage with the man her friend is having a relationship with who's married and a pastor in the church. <laughs> wow. I mean, you can't make that stuff up. I mean, that was incredible. So I didn't find that out till later. And I was like, kind of hard and kind of creeped out. I don't know. So, but, uh. <laughs> But that was how the, she got Michelle there, so whatever it takes, I guess. So you got up there, 
What was your experience that night and what has the gift meant to you guys as a family? It has completely helped us. That we, uh, We've just worked hard our entire lives. We have two kids in college and we just always try to do the right thing. And this strikes less than one in one million people. Yet it could happen to anyone. I tell people he went from the gym to a wheelchair. And it could happen to anybody. And to have something like that happen and to have a community and people like you come forth has been a life changer for us. I mean, we, we could have, even though we've made all good decisions, we could have lost everything. Yep. Yep. So we really, really appreciate it yep. beyond words. Yep. Amen. So. Amen. Mark, why don't you, um, you know, these people love to pray. And now they got a face with a name. So why don't you give us just a, a quick update on your health, where you're at, what's going on, so they know how to pray more specifically yeah. uh, for you. Yeah. Well, first and foremost, I just want to thank you all for all your generosity and your prayers. It's, it's been um, a godsend for us to get us through this. And um, so today, um, I've got more feeling in my legs, you know, than I had. I, I had no feeling. So I'm getting feeling back, and I'm getting movement back, which is... Yep. Yeah. Amazing. So, praise God. Yes. Praise God. So, um, yeah. So um, I'm back to work. I went back to work a couple of weeks ago. Um, that's been nice um, to, to get you know out of the house and get my mind off of it. And then uh, we, we also usually uh, we have um, physical therapy twice a week, occupational therapy, and then a couple of doctors uh, visits a week so um but it's all good um doing the exoskeleton at least once a week and uh we're getting movement and feeling back and i'm, I'm able to stand now on a walker uh, with some assistance but um yeah so it's it's only a matter of time i'm going to be walking again so <laughs> yeah. thank you absolutely yeah. um I, we got to uh, share a drink at Starbucks on Friday, and uh, and they bought me a frappuccino. It was great. It was a little small, and it's all I could handle. They, they, she called me a wimp. I think we'll, we'll keep trying. They're like we got to work on you. Um, but I got I got to hang out with them and ask them questions, hear their story, uh, uh, just really interact for the first time. I met Mark for the first time last Sunday when they when they came, and um, and it was just so fascinating to hear how uh, I believe God's been orchestrating people in your life and your story and bringing our stories together. And we had never even met, did, did, didn't know each other from Adam, um, but I want you to hear that Mark is an extraordinary individual, and Michelle's an extraordinary individual. Um, they have a resiliency of soul that we can learn from, that can look to to be admired. And I believe that, Mark, what we, what we have done for you guys is so small compared to the challenges you're facing, but what we're going to learn from you guys is so massive. And, uh, and if you hang around Mark for more than about two nanoseconds, you realize this is, this is a vivacious man who loves life, who loves his family and his kids, and who is um, committed to uh, as much as it is in his power to, to beat this thing down. And the diagnosis is crazy. They don't know if it could get worse or get better. Mm-hmm. And, but by God's grace, Mark is successfully day by day beating it back. And so we're going to walk with them and track their story, praying God's blessing into their life. And, and I just want to also just acknowledge Pacific Aerospace publicly. Yes. They've been yes. a great company to work for, yeah. great bosses, great employees. And yeah. um, Mark's kind of a big wig out there. He won't say that, but he got like 60 some odd folks under, under his care that he manages. And uh, everyone out there has been incredible. So if you work at Aerospace, thank you. If you listen to this message online, thank you. We're grateful for your, your generosity and your kindness to this family that we can learn from uh, as well. So I want to pray for them. And then we will let you go. But, but just, uh, is, was it good to meet him? Is it good to put a face on him? Are you glad that they could come today? Yeah. yeah we love you guys. We love you guys. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's, let's pray. Father, we're grateful that we can look to you when times are good, look to you when times are bad, look to you when times are hard. And you are always there, always faithful, always walking next to us. And Lord, we ask that you would be with uh, Mark, Michelle, their, 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 their sons, that you would be near and present in their home. The Lord, as they navigate uh, this new season, this new challenge, they would sense your presence um, walking with them every step of this journey. Father, we pray that in, in many ways you would reveal yourself to them in ways they would have never seen or experienced. Lord, we pray for perseverance. We pray um, for 
um, a vitality of soul that, that, uh, w- that won't get wear- worn down with the circumstances, but that will wake up every day remembering that life is a precious gift. And Father, we pray that we would learn from their example, that we would learn from the example of their marriage, of how they're walking this out. And we're grateful that you've given us the, the, the ability to play a very small role in their story. Lord, we're grateful that, that we can be a part of what you're doing in your community, in your kingdom here in Wenatchee. We pray you would be with them, you would walk with them in these days. Lord, and remind us often, I'm asking you, Spirit, to go with us as a church family, to remind us this week and next week and next month to lift these people up, to pray for them, to call them, hey, need something? Swing on by. How can we help? To walk with them every step of this journey. Lord, bring them to mind. Allow us to love them well. In Jesus' name. All God's people said together, amen Amen. and amen. God loves you. God bless you as you go. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Stay cool if you can. We'll see you back here next week, week two of our study in Proverbs. Amen? Amen. Amen. God bless.